cycling shoes. Are they a good investment? Uh, sorry if it's a bit echoey in here. I'm in a different environment that I normally take my videos in, but I need to get this video done so I can send a pair of these shoes back. Anyway, cycling the shoes. Uh, since I went clipless about two years ago, I've been using the Shimano's, these, uh, 40 pound, cheapest chips, because I wasn't gonna, gonna invest a lot of money in shoes back then, because I'd never had clipless pedals before, and I wasn't entirely sure if I was gonna like them. And in all honesty, first pair of shoes you get, you wanna get cheap shoes, because you're gonna be falling off. I haven't fallen off as of yet, but there's always time. Uh, Father's Day came about, Mrs. was like, what do you want? Well, what did I want? One of the new pair of cycling shoes. These, Physiques, uh, Overcurve R4s to be precise. And I wanted the irid, irid, I can't say the word for the love of God. Iridescent, iridescent. The lizard green color. I wanted the lizard green color. And um, in Shimano's, I'm a 44. So naturally, I ordered a 44. Now, when you order cycling shoes, it's the same as ordering any sort of clothing online. It is a hit and miss. So I ordered the 44, put them on, not good. My toe, my big toe is here, literally. A 44, I'm a 44 in Shimano. It's a nine, it's meant to be a nine. In physique, apparently physique make their shoes. They say they make it the right size and everyone else makes it the wrong size. So these are technically half a size, I believe half a size bigger than every other shoe or three quarters. So the shoe was three quarters too big. So. I sent those back and then I ordered a 43.5 because you can get them in halves. Now this 43.5 took two months, no, a month and a bit to arrive at my door. It took a long time. And that's these, the 43 and a half. Still, I wasn't convinced. My toe is now here. I've got a little bit of wiggle room. I'd say the thickness of my pinky I have in wiggle room in here. And I don't like that. My Shimano is like snug. You put your foot in that, you're ready to rock and roll. These. I think I was letting the look take me because I was like, yeah, man, they're fine. First of all, they weren't fine. They're, they're beautiful shoes, amazing shoes. You've got the carbon injected sole, you've got the BOA system. Don't know what you call that. What is it, a BOA? It's not an entry system, is it? It's a, it's a lace, do up, secure. It's a tighter up a system, BOA. Very nice. So I ordered these again in 43, a whole size different. Sigma Sports accepted the order, and a couple days later, cancelled the order because they couldn't get them in the size I wanted. Got it. So then, started looking at these. A uh, bit pricey, but they, I couldn't get them in, my, in the colour that I wanted either. So I stuck with the R4s, right? Stuck with them. And I got these bad boys. Same shoe, different design. It's a beauty of a design. Yeah? So these, in the UK, are... Uh, Europe 43, which means these are uh, these are eight and a half, a UK eight and a half, right? A Europe 43 is a UK eight and a half. So I'm an eight and a half in physique, but I'm a nine, nine, nine and a half in Shimano. Shocking. My point of this video is basically, if you're going to buy shoes, if you're going to fork out some money for a decent pair of cycling shoes, you want to go in and try them on. You don't really want to be going back and forth with this whole online ordering business. And then, and now shops are open. So go to the shop. If you're gonna spend the money, go to the shop. Don't do this, because it's disheartening. I've waited a long time for this. Beautiful, beautiful, look. Sounds like you're tap dancing when you're walking in these bad boys. I love them. Moral of the story, if you're gonna get a pair of cycling shoes, make sure they fit, yeah? Everyone's size is different. It's just like every bike frame is different, you might be a 56 in one brand. You could be a small in another brand. I don't know, I've just gone from two different measuring metrics, but. This is not a technical video, none of my videos of, review, of reviews are very technical. We're getting better, but I'm not really a, a review channel. I'm a cycling channel, and this is cycling related. But these, I will recommend these. These are nice, I like these. Very comfortable, I've not done any long distance in them as of yet, but we're planning to, we're planning to do Hastings. Hastings is gonna be, it's meant to be the 31st of this month. That's not now happening, but it's on the cards because we've got to do Hastings and then we've got to do Brighton again. Anyway, cycling shoes. Are they a good investment? Yes, definitely, 
Do they make you faster? Of course. For the money, they better make you faster. But again, my point, try before you buy. So anyway, you take it easy. I'll catch you next time. Peace.